Welcome to PreMath. In this video, we are going to solve this given uh, nested exponential equation. As you can see over here, m power m power 5 equals to 100. In other words, we are going to solve for m. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this 100 on the right hand side. This could be written as 10 power 2. So therefore, this equation could be written as m power m and then power 5 equals to 10 power 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and take power 5 on both sides of this equation. And now let's recall this power rule of exponent. x power m power n could be written as x power m times n. So if I call on the left hand side this whole thing as m and this uh, n, then this uh, left hand side could be written as m power 5 times m power 5 equals to, and now we are going to apply this power rule on the right hand side as well. So we are going to multiply out 2 times 5, that is going to give us 10. So the right hand side could be written as 10 power 10. Now let's go ahead and apply this uh, power rule on the left hand side once again. So this uh, could be written as m power 5 and then whole power m power 5 equals to 10 power 10 on the right hand side. And now let's recall this uh, basic rule of exponents. If I call this part an a and this one a as well and on the right hand side if I call this one b and this one b as well and according to this rule we can write this a in our case is m power 5 equals to b is simply 10. Now let's go ahead and undo this power 5 by taking the fifth root on both sides of this equation and now we can see that this uh, fifth root and this power 5 they undo each other so therefore we are ended up with the uh, m equals to fifth uh, root of uh, 10 and now let's recall this uh, basic fact this is our radical notation and this is our equivalent uh, exponential notation so therefore we can write m equals to this thing could be written as 10 power 1 fifth. And here's our solution in terms of radical notation as well as in terms of exponential notation. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.